A tunnel in the depths of ocean. Is it possible? Those of you who are aerophobic may have problems with posting nice Instagram photos after vacations. Your friends have already visited all the interesting locations near your city. You have nothing original to cause envy. And if the idea of flying gives you the heebie-jeebies, you'll never visit London with a great company to annoy your friends like Joey Tribbiani. London, baby! Do you watch Eurotrip with tears in your eyes? There is a hope for you, I think. Okay, I can hear you, my nerdish friend. Teleportation is a highly doubtful hypothesis which causes concerns about what human beings are and how the personality can be safely transmitted. Stop it, you. On my channel, I tell only about some reliable and scientifically proven things. No fantasies. The solution I'm going to provide is a tunnel in the depths of the ocean. Okay, you raise your eyebrow. Especially if you remember the distance between New York and London, which is 3,459 miles. No vehicle can travel the distance like this fast at first glance. For instance, a car makes 60 miles per hour, so it will take 57 hours driving across the ocean to get to the capital of Great Britain. Add to that that there are no petrol stations or places to buy a cup of coffee in the ocean. We don't want to scare fishes that much. And if we use a train for this journey, its vibration might wake even Cthulhu. But it's not a problem at all. Some trains can be fast as greedy guts at a garage sale and silent like a baby making a mess in the other room. The system I'm talking about is called maglev, derived from magnetic levitation. Don't confuse with magical, although it is quite a magic. These trains don't touch the tracks. Like some kind of yogi, they levitate using the power of magnets. So there is no friction. Some engineers even propose to install propellers at the first section. This doesn't only give a train a ridiculous look, but also helps to avoid air resistance. That means no noise, great speed. And it's cheap. Well, if you can say that for something like trains, all things necessary for it is a source of electric energy metal coils and large magnets. You can try this at home, though you better not. Okay, we chose a transport, but let's return to the idea of a tunnel itself. City guys who spend long hours of their lives underground, you hear tunnel, you imagine subway. So, you're probably thinking about the construction of transatlantic tunnel, as about the excavating through the rock beneath the seabed. Of course, this idea seems crazy for you. It would take 300 years to drill the required distance underneath the floor of the Atlantic Ocean. Not to mention the obstacles posed by underwater mountain ranges and the frequent earthquakes. Okay, okay, but it's not necessary to drill. An alternative could be a tunnel that sits on the ocean floor. Doesn't work either. The pressure at that bottom of the Atlantic is 500 times that of the surface enough to crush the strongest steel and concrete structures, and your desire to use the transport like that too. But there is another quite promising option. It is based on the ideas of Frank Davidson, an engineer who worked on the famous English Channel. In comparison with the transatlantic tunnel, the English Channel is a pathetic underwater trail, but the ideas of Davidson are still interesting. It's so easy that it's strange that it doesn't spring in the mind straight away. All things required is to suspend a tunnel. So, it will be a corridor suspended about 300 feet into the ocean, fixed by heavy sea anchors dipped to the floor of the sea. A tunnel levitates, a train levitates. Doesn't look like a good idea for aerophobic now. Besides the possibility to pay a price of an air wing for one ticket, are there anything noteworthy in a travel like that? Well, yes. First, you can feel like to be a great ecologist while traveling. Tunnel's maglev systems use electrical energy, so they are environmentally friendly. You'll get through the garbage patches in the ocean without feeling guilty about how mankind damages our planet. Nice! Also, the tunnel will be firm like the will of a Spartan. The train will never touch the railways, so there will be no wear and tear that usually destructs the normal tunnels. The last, but not the least, 
Weather will never ruin your vacation. Well, at least part of it. Visibility and snow cannot affect the flow of the train, but the same is not true for the air transport. However, there are some serious doubts that this transatlantic tunnel will be built in the nearest future. Surprise! To begin with, it would take a lot of time, a century in average. That means that you, your children, and your grandchildren would work on it, so that your grand-grandchildren can finally reach London. Imagine how disappointing it would be if they have no interest in English breakfast and 5 o'clock tea. Money is another problem. Well, as usual. The cost of production is relatively low, but still, there is a high certainty that this project will be the most ambitious one in history of engineering works. The Three Gorges Dam seems a child's play by comparison. Labor and materials would bankrupt Bill Gates. The weather would bring its surprises, too. Freezing temperatures, as well as strong winds and currents, would make any builder dream about a job somewhere in Antarctica. Finally, using this transport by passengers might be an unpleasant experience. The sense of unsafety could be striking. If a part of this suspended tunnel submerges, one or several top-speed trains can go to explore the depths of Atlantic Ocean. Highly probable that you should forget about reading the newspaper or having a cup of coffee during the trip. Your comfort would be in danger. Sudden acceleration and deceleration leaves an unpleasant feeling in the body of the passengers. In the top-speed train, they are inevitable, so you have been warned. But those of us who love trains as deeply as Sheldon Cooper does shouldn't lose their hope. Remember, Jeddah Tower, which is going to be the first one kilometer high building in the world, it's constructed for no obvious reason. Sometimes humanity just wants to say, because I can. Don't be too optimistic if you have aerophobia, though. The worst thing in the world would be to buy a ticket to this train, to fulfill your dreams about adventures, and to understand eventually that you have claustrophobia as well. If you like this video, don't forget to push like. There is nothing more sweet for Mr. Banana. And subscribe to my channel. Lots of surprises are waiting for you here. Goodbye, and have a nice day.